There's a ton of hype around this topic of flying your drone at night. The big question and the reason you clicked on this video is you're probably wondering, can I legally fly my drone at night? And the answer is... No, 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 I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna do that to you. The answer is yes. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to make sure you're doing it legally. In the United States, yes, legally, you are allowed to fly your drone at night, both as a recreational and commercial drone pilot. But before April 2021, you would have had to obtain an FAA Daylight Operations Waiver, which despite its name, would legally let you fly at night. The process of getting one of these waivers was super time consuming and you needed to request one through the FAA's Drone Zone portal. Well, I'm happy to say that things have changed and flying at night is now easier than ever if you follow the steps laid out in this video. Let's talk about what you need to know before flying your drone at night and the rules that you'll need to follow to ensure a safe and successful flight. Okay, so let's say I'm a recreational drone pilot, just flying drones as a hobby, purely for fun. I can fly my drone at night without any waivers or permits as long as I have anti-collision lights on my drone, and we'll talk about that more in a second. Besides the lighting, all the other rules for daylight flight apply to night flight, including registering your drone if it's above that 0.55 pounds or 250 grams, you must still fly below 400 feet. As a recreational drone pilot, you're not allowed to fly in controlled airspace, keep that in mind. You should always have your drone in visual line of sight. Don't fly over people or in crowded areas, please. And avoid flying under the influence. We call it bottle to throttle. Don't do it. All right, so now let's say that I'm more than a hobby pilot. And now I'm getting paid to capture some aerial shots for let's say a local real estate agent. First, above all, you'll need your part 107 license, which I'm sure a bunch of you watching this video already have. So let's dive into the second step, which is completing the FAA's night flight training. I'll link the FAA's safety website below and you'll be able to click that link and go through their video series. After you go through the course module, the last slide will have a 45 question quiz that you'll need to pass with a perfect score. Luckily, it's not too hard and you can't fail. If you don't pass the first try, you can go back and correct the answers that you got wrong. Now, if you're watching this video wondering what the part 107 exam is, how to navigate the FAA safety website, and how you could possibly answer a series of video questions on regulatory guidelines when the drone that you just bought from Costco last week is still sitting in the box on your dining room table, then don't you worry, that's exactly why we started Altitude University. If you're a beginner drone pilot or brand new to the drone industry, be sure to check out our online drone school where you can learn the basics of the rules and regulations and even get your remote pilot certificate if you're interested. As I've mentioned in this video, to make money flying drones as a content creator, a freelancer, or a drone business owner, you need what's called a Part 107 license. To get one, you need to pass a 60 question in-person exam and to prepare for it, we've built an online test prep course. It has video lectures, graded quizzes, and over 250 real practice exam questions that you can use to test yourself before the real deal. I've personally helped over 12,000 people pass the Part 107 exam with a 99% pass rate. And now those people are making an income flying drones, which has to be the coolest job in the world. So if you're interested in turning your passion for drones into a profit of some kind, then check out our course and we'll help you study, schedule, and pass the drone license exam. Now that you got that down, there are a few things to keep in mind. The first thing is, even though your clients are probably pressing you on time, you'll need to still get that airspace authorization if you're flying in controlled airspace. The process is pretty simple and you can do it through an app like Aloft or AirMap. But if you need more guidance, then we've got a ton of resources inside of our private Facebook group, which is a free community to join. The second thing to keep in mind, now that you've got all that down, is that all night operations require the use of anti-collision lights. 
The regulations say that your anti-collision lights must be visible for three statute miles, and if you use a trusted source for these lights, they will be. I personally use the Loom Cube lights because, well, in my opinion, they're the best out there. And if you wanna try them, I'll put our affiliate link in the description below. Now that you've checked all the boxes and you're ready for a nighttime flight, well, it's not quite nighttime here, so we're gonna go down to Newport Beach Harbor to get ready for the surprise that I have for you later in the video. Let's get to it. So you fall into one of the two categories. So you're either a recreational drone pilot just flying for fun as a hobbyist or on the other side, you're a commercial drone pilot and uh, maybe you're getting paid to shoot one of these beautiful Newport Beach properties out here. Either way, if it's gonna be at sunset, you're gonna need to know that as a recreational drone pilot, option number one, we are in class G uncontrolled airspace. You don't need authorization to fly. And in fact, as a hobbyist drone pilot, you don't have your part 107 license, so you can't get authorization to fly even if we were in controlled airspace. I'm just breaking down the scenario right here. So if it's under 400 feet and you have the anti-collision mount that we're gonna put on later tonight when it gets uh, closer to sunset, then if you have that and you're a recreational drone pilot, you are good to go. All right, so option number two here, your commercial drone pilot, what we're gonna do is go into the Air Map app and it looks like we can fly in controlled airspace up to 200 feet getting immediate airspace authorization inside of AirMap. What that means is I can go in here, I can pull up this little tab and I can see we're in controlled airspace with John Wayne Airport SNA, it's class C airspace. We're gonna need to get authorization to fly. You can click schedule and get immediate airspace authorization up to 200 feet. We're gonna just get the drone up in the air now that it's daylight here and then we're gonna get the same shots a little bit later tonight when it gets nice and dark and uh, we're gonna fly at night. So enjoy the shot. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna learn more about unlocking your drone's full potential and becoming a confident drone pilot, then be sure to check out our course, 14 Day Drone Pilot Pro. It's a speed learning program for beginners, teaching aerial photography and video editing, and our students are absolutely loving it. I'll link it in the description below. Make sure to click that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.